Hello and welcome back to Coin Matters channel. Mark Fagel, a former SEC regional director. He thinks that Judge Torres will not bring up the secondary market and that the SEC will triumph clearly. John Deaton is in opposition. And I believe that the SEC will once again stab themselves in the foot by being overly forceful in this situation. This was demonstrated when Brad and Chris were excluded from the initial Ripple lawsuit. That's probably how they were able to obtain the Hinman documents and other items. They were scorched by their too aggressive behavior. And given that, let's be honest, it's not really about Ripple and raising money. I believe we may observe the same phenomenon here. The attempt to take control of the market as a whole is what this is actually about. They are acting in this manner. They are approaching this matter in such an aggressive manner because of this. John Deaton is heard stating the following. I essentially disagree with what Mark Fogel is stating. That being said, nobody will know unless she expresses her viewpoint in writing. Additionally, a court typically simply needs to discuss the pertinent facts. But now, when talking about whether Ripple offers, she need not bring up the secondary market. A security investment contract is XRP. In general, they should have stated in their summary ruling that they believed Ripple's direct sale of XRP to investors constituted a security offering. The judge would then presumably avoid discussing the secondary market. John, however, adds the following in its current form, the SEC's move for summary judgment nearly compels her to do so. A purchase of XRP was an investment in a common enterprise with other XRP investors and Ripple, according to the SEC's position in its brief for summary judgment, and a purchase of XRP is an investment in a common enterprise with other XRP holders. By filing that summary judgment, they are essentially attempting to encircle the entire secondary market. They are not focusing on the exact moment that Ripple the company sells XRP directly, and I believe that they may even lose. Personally, I think Ripple is trading a genuine good. They have the right to sell it as an asset. Additionally, that is not a securities offering, much like when De Beers sells diamonds. Simply put, they are selling a commodity. Or even when a Bitcoin miner sells the pure yet man-made commodity of Bitcoin, that is not something that is disclosed. We'll have to wait and see how the judge finds in that case, but declaring everyone on the secondary market to be a part of this enormous security offering is considerably more extreme. Here, they became far too pushy. And the reason for it is that the secondary market itself is really what they are pursuing. We can clearly see that they are positioning themselves with Binance and Coinbase. In essence, that is what this is about. It's not really about Ripple. The goal is to seize that supplementary market. And they're attempting to do so in a rather sneaky and shady manner by claiming, oh, this is just about Ripple. The token is not the focus. However, they attempt to corner the entire market when they write their summary decision. And let's hope John is correct. It doesn't really matter whether Ripple and SEC must go through the appeals process or how long this takes, so let's hope the court steps in and makes a decision. It doesn't really matter anymore if the secondary market can withdraw from this process if we're not involved and if liquidity returns to the United States. People frequently comment, oh, you're following this case. That implies that you do care deeply about Ripple. I could care less. They could argue about this non-stop. Do not have an impact on us. Just, you know, don't restrict the U.S. market and stop me from operating my business while allowing you to do what you want to. Because you are devaluing a pure product that we are attempting to exchange. Because even if there are other markets, the U.S. is a sizable and important one. There is a lot of liquidity and value flows. And if we get that back, XRP will triumph handily. The SEC and Ripple are free to argue about the details of their respective sides of the situation for as long as they choose. If the judge determines that the secondary market represents the transaction of a pure commodity, it will be a significant triumph. We can carry on with business as usual because this is not a part of this insanity. The SEC's cases against Binance and Coinbase will also suffer a great deal from this. More Coinbase, in fact. There's a lot more to the Binance information there, 
but we'll have to wait and see. Please comment below with your thoughts. The secondary market will be discussed by the judge, or will Ripple just win because they are selling a pure commodity outright? Please like and subscribe as always. Bye.